love the smell of napalm in the morning. You know, one time we had a hail bomb. For 12 hours, when it was all over, I walked up. We didn't find one of them, not one stinking big body. Smell! You know, that gasoline smell! The whole hill! Smelled like... Victory. And what about this business of the L? And the movies? There's a phony deal if I ever heard of it. I bet you five thousand dollars I'd remember the movies I saw. I'm telling you, everything that's gone on has been twisted and turned. This business with the glasses? How do you know she didn't have them on? This woman testified in open court. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. You know what date is on this coin? No. 1958. It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here, and it's either heads or tails. And you have to say, call it. Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. How's that? You stand to win everything, call it. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired of being on the road, lonely as a spell in the rain. I'm tired of never having me a buddy to be with. Tell me where we's going to, coming from, or why. Mostly I'm tired of people being ugly to each other. I'm tired of all the pain I feel and hear in the world every day. There's too much of it. It's like pieces of glass in my head all the time. Do you, do you know what that means? To forgive? It's a decision we make to release a person from the feelings of anger we have at them. It's strange, but sometimes it's hardest of all to forgive someone we love. Mm. Nobody left in Vienna. I can really trust them. We've always done everything together. When you make up your mind, send me a message. I'll meet you any place, any time. And when we do meet, old man, it's you I want to see. Not the police. Remember that, won't you? <laughs> Don't be so gloomy. After all, it's not that awful. But what the fellow said, in Italy, for 30 years under the Borgias, they had warfare, terror, murder, and bloodshed, but they produced Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and the Renaissance. In Switzerland, they had brotherly love. They had 500 years of democracy and peace. And what did that produce? The cuckoo clock. So long, Holly. Well, well, I was in love, in, in, in love with her. Your mother told me that you never told her about it. Billy, why didn't you tell her about it? Innocent? Is that supposed to be funny? An obese man? A disgusting man who could barely stand up? A man who, if you saw him on the street, you'd point him out to your friends so that they could join you in mocking him? A man who, if you saw him while you were eating, you wouldn't be able to finish your meal? And after him, I picked the lawyer, and you both must have secretly been thanking me for that one. This is a man who dedicated his life to making money by lying with every breath that he could muster to keeping murderers and rapists on the streets. Murderers. A woman. Murderers, John, like a yourself. A woman. So ugly on the inside that she couldn't bear to go on living if she couldn't be beautiful on the outside. A, a drug dealer, a, a drug dealing pederast, actually. And let's not forget the disease spreading whore. Only in a world this shitty. Could you even try to say these were innocent people and keep a straight face? I'll tell you what fucking happened. You tell me, gal. You tell me what fucking happened. Give me a fucking knockback, you fat fucking cunt. Problem with the plane, huh? What's that? 
What do you fucking say, cunt? What? Problem? Fucking problem? No, mate, no. No fucking problem with the plane, cunt. Fucking plane was fine. Fucking plane was all right. Fucking plane was perfect. It's you. You're the problem. You're the fucking problem. You fucking Dr. White, onkin, jam rag, arkin, spunk bubble. I'm telling you, H, you keep looking at me, I'm going to put you in the fucking ground. I Dude. promise you. Dude. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to You them. want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's gonna do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You weep for Santiago, and you curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know, that Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives, and my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. I borrowed money all over this neighborhood, left and right, from everybody, and I never paid them back, so I can't borrow no money from nobody no more, right? So who does that leave me to borrow money from but you? I borrow money from you because you're the only jerk off around here that I can borrow money from without paying back, right? Right? Because, you know, that's what you are. That's what I think of you, a jerk off. <laughs> you're smiling like she's a jerk off. <laughs> you're a fucking jerk off. And I'll tell you something else, Mikey. I fuck you right where you breathe because I don't give two shits about you or nobody else. So I had a wife, beautiful, like you, who tells me I worry too much, who tells me I ought to smile more, who gambles and gets in deep with the sharks. Hey, one day they carve her face. We have no money for surgeries. She can't take it. I just want to see her smile again. Hmm? I just want her to know that I don't care about the scars. So, I stick a razor in my mouth and do this to myself. And you know what? She can't stand the sight of me. She leaves. Now I see the funny side. Now I'm always smiling. <clears throat> a little fight in you. I like that. Is there something frightening to you about the causes travels into the past? Frightening? Yes. No. No. What, what's, what, what scares you so much about traveling into the past, sir? I'm not Are you afraid that we might discover that our past has been reshapen? Perverted? And perhaps what we think we know of this world is false information. Time travel does not frighten me, sir, because it's not possible. What does frighten me is the possibility of some poor soul oh, with leukemia oh, there are dangers coming to in you. traveling in and out of time, as we understand it. But it's not unlike traveling down a river, you see. You travel down the river, round the bend, look back, and you cannot see around the bend, can you? But that does not mean it is not there, does it? But certain clubs would like us to think that a truth, I say truth, uncovered should stay hidden. I belong to no club, and... If you're unwilling to allow any discussion... No, this isn't a discussion, it's a grilling. There's nothing I can do for you, if your mind has been made up. You seem to know the answers to your questions, why do you ask? I'm sorry you're unwilling to defend your beliefs in any kind of rational way. Oh, if, 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 you, if, you, if, if you already know way. the answers to your questions, then why ask, pig fuck? But if one were to determine what attributes the Jews share with the beast, it would be that of the rat. The Führer and Goebbels propaganda have said pretty much the same thing. But where our conclusions differ is I don't consider the comparison an insult. Consider for a moment the world a rat lives in. It's a hostile world indeed. If a rat were to scamper through your front door right now, would you greet it with hostility? I suppose I would. Has a rat ever done anything to you to create this animosity you feel toward them? Rats spread disease to bite people. Rats were the cause of the bubonic plague, but that's some time ago. I propose to you any disease a rat could spread, a squirrel could equally carry. 
Would you agree? Wait. Yet I assume you don't share the same animosity with squirrels that you do with rats, do you? No. Yet they're both rodents, are they not? And except for the tail, they even rather look alike, don't they? It's an interesting thought, Ercolini. However interesting as the thought may be, it makes not one bit of difference to how you feel. Uh, what do you mean I'm funny? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny, you know. You're, 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 it's a good story. It's funny. You're a funny guy. <laughs> what do you mean? You mean the way I talk? What? It's just, you know, you, it's, you're just funny. It's, it's funny, you know, the way you tell the story and everything. Funny how? I mean, what's funny about it? Hey, Tommy, no, you got it all wrong. Hey, oh, oh, Anthony. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. What'd you say? You're right. Funny how? Just, what? Just, you know, you're, you're funny. <laughs> you mean, so? let me understand this, because I don't, you know, maybe it's me, I'm a little fucked up, maybe. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? I'm not just, you know how you tell a story? What? No, no, I don't know. You said it. How do I know? You said I'm funny. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's funny. And what are your parents' dates of birth? Out of here. That was the finest beating I ever took. My face was pulp, my guts was pierced, my ribs was all mashed up. When he came to finish me, Look him in the eye. He spared me because he wanted me to live in shame. This was a great man. A great man. So I cut out the eye that looked away. Sent it to him wrapped in blue paper. I would have cut them both out if I could have fought him blind. And I rose back up again with a full heart and buried him in his own blood. I would like so much to reach out and touch you in your loneliness. What, 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 that, what would that be like, I wonder? I mean, <laughs> what would be wrong with that? And I, I realize that you're not a, a person in the, the strictest sense of the word, but I mean, well, maybe you're right about that too. You know, maybe what's what's wrong isn't it's not us. It's it's you know, it's this. I mean, when when they compare you to to uh, vermin and to rodents and to lice. I just, uh... No, no, you, you make a good point. <laughs> make a very good point. Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You look like a rube. A well-scrubbed, hustling rube with a little taste. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor wire trash. Are you, Agent Starling? 
and that accent you've tried so desperately to share, the pure West Virginia. Where's your father, dear? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of the land? And oh, how quickly the boys found you, all those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars, while you could only dream of getting out, getting anywhere, getting all the way to the end of the beehive. We've known each other many years, but this is the first time you ever came to me counsel for help. I can't remember the last time that you invited me to your house for a cup of coffee. Even though my wife is godmother to your only child. But let's be frank, you, you never wanted my friendship. And uh, you were afraid to be in my debt. I didn't want to get into trouble. I understand. You found paradise in America. You had a good trade, made a good living. Police protected you, and there were courts of law. And you didn't need a friend like me. But uh, now you come to me and you say, Don Corleone, give me justice. But you don't ask for respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. You said you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married and you ask me for the murder, money. To ask you for justice. That is not justice. Your daughter is still alive. Let him suffer then. As she suffers. How much shall I pay? Buonasera. Buonasera. What have I ever done to make you treat me so disrespectfully? If you'd come to me in friendship, then the scum that ruined your daughter would be suffering this very day. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. And then they would fear you. <laughs> 